People like Del Maxson, who, when we first met him, seemed beyond hope. It's like having a, mi a sharp mind that's It's, it's in a body that doesn't work. Del Maxson is 55 years old. He lives in Forestville, New York, near Buffalo. He was diagnosed with Parkinson's 14 years ago, and the disease has gotten progressively worse. The muscles freeze, immobilizing him. Drugs relieve that condition for short periods, but produce uncontrollable wild movement. It's a cruel choice between the effects of the disease and the effects of the medicine. My days revolve around my ability to move. I can't plan ahead for anything, so I just wait until I'm able to move to do something. Up until three years ago, he was able to cope with the disease. But the Parkinson swiftly took over his body and the medication ceased to work. Can hardly do anything. For more and more of every day, he was barely able to function. That's about, about the extent of it for a while. The wild movements called dyskinesia made him housebound, totally dependent on his wife, Barbara. We don't go out to eat. Um, he used to like to go bowling. He can't do that. Um, just very limited. There's, there's nothing really we can do. He could not bear to suffer the stares of strangers. They look at you like you're mentally handicapped, feeling sorry for you, and that's another thing. I really don't want anybody feeling sorry for me. I want to be treated the same as other people. For the first time in years, Del Maxson is back playing his favorite game. Any way you could have done this, say, a month ago? Or... I couldn't even pick up the stick a month ago. Just take me through some of the, th how, how your life has changed. How my life has changed. Today, I got up, I shaved with a razor, and I put in my own shirt. These are major things, though, for you, correct? They, these are absolutely major things. Just everyday things that other people take for granted. All of which seem like but a breakthroughs for you. Yes. Go, you handsome dog, you. On a recent Sunday morning, Del got himself ready for an even bigger breakthrough. He'd stopped attending his church almost three years ago, too embarrassed to be seen. But on this day, he was in control of his own body and finally ready to be welcomed back to the congregation. You went back to church for the first time. Yes. Was that a big moment in your life? Major just to be out in public and just to do something as simple as that, just to go out and be amongst people and not feel like a, like I have a leprosy or something. What'd your friends make of it, being in church after all these years? <laughs> they were thrilled, they were thrilled. I am so glad to see you. It's been such a long time. Like a new man. It strikes me that you are a new person. Do, do you feel like a, a Absolutely, new I've got a new life. My perspective before the operation was Parkinson's is incurable and progressive, which means it always gets worse. It never, never ever gets better. So it was kind of a dark future that I had. Now I've got a future.